Hi you guys, Devin Scribe here and I just want to do a video on sand bathing and Syrian hamsters. And not all Syrians like to do sand baths, but Forrest just happens to love it. So um, she'll be a good example for what it looks like when a hamster takes a sand bath. And I have two types of sand baths here. So hamster, I mean, Forrest actually has access to a sand bath anytime she wants because I have this little one that I keep in her cage. And it just goes up here. I change it daily. Um, this is the type of sand bath if you are going to do it outside of the cage. You can have a lot more fun with it because you can use a large container. And um, you want it to be deep enough so that they don't get out when, and you do want to keep an eye on them obviously if they're in here and don't leave them in for too long. Um, this is chinchilla bath sand and um, you don't want to ever use the dust. You want to use sand. It's got much uh, thicker granules in it so it can't be inhaled or uh, bother their eyes as easily. And um, So this is the type of sand you want to use. You can also use the children's uh, like sandbox sand that you buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever um, hardware store that sells sand or concrete or whatever you want to but you can buy the sand in those types of places and if you use that sand you do want to bake it in the oven at about like you know probably 350 degrees for a while like 10 minutes um, in a thin layer and that is going to kill um, any mites or bacteria or anything that you have that might um, it get into your hamster's fur or eyes or nose. So anyway, I have chinchilla bath sand here, and I'll just grab Forrest and show you um, how she takes a bath. Okay, so this is Forrest, and I'm just going to go ahead and stick her in. She really loves the sand, and she just starts kind of going crazy and digging and running around. Um... And, you know, some Syrians, like I said, aren't interested in sand bathing. And I don't know why that is. Most dwarf hamsters love it, and they just, they roll on their backs and things. Forrest usually doesn't roll on her back, really. She just kind of, like, digs around and um, grooms a lot and stuff. And so you can see she's kind of, like, not that into it right now. But, um... That's she has her own sand bath and she spends quite a bit of time digging around in her own little sand bath. So I like to um you know keep that in her cage so that she can take a sand bath whenever she wants. And if you don't have one in the cage, then you can put your own container like this and just kind of stick them in for not that long, like two or three minutes a night. Let him kind of dig around. And what it does is the sand separates all the greases and things in the fur and makes it really nice. And as you probably know, you never want to give a hamster a real water bath because that's just going to uh, make them sick. It's the hamsters are desert animals and so they are they don't, you know, they're not around a lot of water in the desert, and they don't take baths like that naturally. Their natural instinct is to roll around in the sand. And so she likes to do that. And, um, like, I'll show you the size difference. That is the um, large container of sand that I put her in when she's not in her cage. But when she's in her cage, I put her in this one, or I don't put her in. She goes into this one. Come here, Forrest. Let's go. I'm sorry. I scared her to death. I'm sorry, sweet pea. Let's go in this one. So this is her little one. And she, you know, she can dig around in that one too. It's very, very small. But she really likes using it. And she uses it quite often. So a small one's fine too. You can just stick it in their cage. They don't need a ton of room. I would probably add like an inch of sand in it. If you fill this thing up with sand, you are going to have a mess <laughs> because they really kick it and, you know, try to get it, try to 
get it all over them and it just gets all over the place. So I would only fill it up about an inch. And um, in this kind, you can fill it up as deep as you want and they can really kind of roll around in it and stuff. So yeah, that's um, forest sand bath. And this is, if you do any sand bath, you want to change it before you um, put your hamster, or you know, but you don't want to let them use it twice, really, because they will go to the bathroom in it. Come here, baby. Don't run away. Nya, 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 nya. And um, so you definitely want to change it because they will go potty in it. It's one of their favorite things to do besides bathing in it. So, yes, that's it for Forest Sand Bath Demonstration. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And please rate, request, and subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.